Hello, this is Greg Lambert. I was asked to create a quick little video to show how to make a T-Sign out of Excel. So essentially what we're going to do is uh, show you how to uh, make a screen print of your hole in Google Earth and move it into Excel. And then we're going to overlay graphics on top of that screen print. And then we're going to move the uh, move the Google Earth image out of the way and you're left with your, uh, your T-Sign. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, well, I should mention I'm using Excel 7, uh, so if you have a different version of Excel, your screens may look different. Uh, uh, some of the functionality I'm using uh, may be in a different location, different menu option, or a different uh, different tab, uh, but it all should be in there somewhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, start a new Excel file. Okay, and now I am going to, uh, I'm just going to put a X in here so I can do a screen print. Okay, I'm going to do a screen print here. Okay, and now I want to go into page setup so I can select the size of my uh, my printout. So I want it very big. So let's let's go 11 by 17. Okay, and now I'm going to reduce the size of my image so I can see it. Okay, so each of these are a screen, uh, 11 by 17. So if I put all of my graphics on the screen here, when I print it out, this is essentially what I'm going to get, this little box here. Okay, I'm going to delete that X. Don't need it anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to uh, uh, Google Earth and get my image real quick. Okay, so this is where I... Uh, this is my particular property, and I use Google Earth as kind of my uh, uh, my master plan, uh, the way a way to record my master plan. So I've got all my uh, you know my parking lot, all my roads, my utility uh, uh, trails, um, all of my holes, my T signs, uh, hole distances, elevation changes, uh, pretty much everything that's important to me on this uh, uh, this disc golf development. I've got it on Google Earth. And so what I'm going to do is pick a hole real quick that we can uh, we can practice with. So let's see. Just pick an easy one here. Okay, this is hole five. So I'm going to make it as big as I can so I can get uh, get a better high quality uh, resolution. Not that it's going to show on the final product. Okay, and now I'm going to do a screen print. And then go back into Excel and right click paste okay now the first thing I want to do oops I didn't get all of the image Okay, this is really the one I want right up here. Okay, try it again. Screen print. I'm going to delete this one. Okay, and then repaste the new one. Okay, so this is the hole I want here. And I really want the other uh, the T-box to be at the bottom of the screen and the basket at the top. So I'm going to rotate this first of all. Okay, and then I really want to isolate it to just my hole. So I'm going to go in and edit it with format, uh, size and properties. Okay, and I'm going to crop it from the right. I'm sorry, what used to be the uh, top. Then I'm going to crop from the bottom. Okay, so there's my hole. And I want to put it on my T-sign about right here. Maybe a little bit bigger. 
So I'm going to expand it. Okay, so then I'll have my uh, uh, my T box par information here, and then the uh, uh, the the graphic for the name of the uh, the disc golf club up here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is start adding the graphics. So I'm going to expand the uh, size of my screen. Okay, and the first thing I want to do is make sure that uh, I can always put this graphic back in the proper location. So if I start adding objects on top of it, I can move this away and move it back and it's still in the same spot. So what I'm going to do is uh, put some sort of a uh, object here to, to denote my, uh, my basket location. So for that I'm going to go into insert and it's going to be shapes and I'm going to put a, a star if I can find it. There it is. There's the star, way too big. Okay, and then I think I would like it to be format the shape so I can change the color. So the fill color is now going to be red. And let's make it a uh, black outline. And that's a little too fat. Make it a little skinnier line. And then maybe I'll put a little shadow on here. So here's a little drop shadow. And uh, this controls how far away from the graphics the shadow is. So I'm going to set it about right there. Okay, so now I can always move my, uh, my Google Earth uh, screen print out of the way, look at my map, and then I can put it back. And I'm always in the right spot. Okay, so let's add a, uh, a T box. You can see I've already got these graphics, uh, uh, as I mentioned, in my Google Earth image. So I'm just going to put something on top of them. So here's the blue T box, for example. So I'm going to insert shapes. Let's go with a box. Okay, and then uh, go to the border and right click again. Format shape. And kind of the same thing. I'm going to fill it with, uh, this one's going to be a dark blue. Maybe a dark blue. Okay. Again, I, uh, I like a black line around it. And uh, again, let's do a quick little shadow. Okay, now I could uh, I could do the same thing for the red and the white, but I'm just going to copy this. So I'm going to hold down the control button until I get a little plus sign on my, my cursor, my mouse. And then I'm going to drag a copy up here. And now all I need to do is go again into Format Shape. And this one I'm going to change the color to red. Okay, and then uh, Flight Path. I can't see the whole the whole uh, flight path, so I'm going to reduce the size of my screen here. Still too big. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this flight path here. So insert shapes, and for this one I'll use a, uh, a curve. Alright, let's start here. And then kind of follow this curve here. Okay, and just like the other objects, I'm going to right click on the, uh, the box here, format shape. Uh, line style, I think I would like a, uh, a dash here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I think I'm going to go with the black on the color. A little bit bigger still. No shadow on this one. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so I can't see it very well, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And here you can see the underlying graphics that I've created. Okay, so I'll do some more. Line it back up. And, uh, okay, so I guess one of the last things we need to do is text. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me increase the size a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put a text box right in here to put the uh, the title uh, for the uh, the T sign. 
And so in this one, I'm going to insert a text box. And I want it to be about this big. Okay, and it's going to be Okay, and so let's make it uh, not big enough. Let's go maybe. Let's go this big. Okay, but I don't like the font, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move this out of the way. Highlight it, and then I can scroll through my fonts until I see one that I like. And you can see it change in the uh, the heading. So there's one. That's okay. I think I'll take this uh, accent SF. Okay, so it, it's exceeded the size of my text box. So I have to reduce it. So let's go with uh, maybe a 44. All right, put it back over here. Again, I want to stay within the boundary of my, uh, my page one. Okay, so here's my text. And one nice thing about Excel is you can go in and edit text pretty easily. So I'm going to go into the format shape. And oops, I got the wrong box. There you go. Format text effects. Okay, so I'm going to fill this text with, uh, well, let's make the outline first. So the outline say black. Okay, and then the text fill, let's make it a, a gradient fill. That's a good one right there. It's a preset. Uh, I think I picked this one here. There's lots of other options. And let's give it a, uh, a shadow. It's always best once you pick a, a shadow location that you you uh, you know keep the sun coming from the same direction. If you know what I mean. Okay, so Again, the distance. There's our there's our drop shadow. Okay, and then I, if I wanted to make a uh, a T sign box, it'd be the same kind of thing. Insert text box. R three that kind of thing. Okay, so. All right, so you get the idea. You can totally change this text box, just like you can do the heading here. Oh, I forgot to take the border off of this, so I'm going to right-click this again, format shape. Take the line off. Okay, now I'm going to move this out of the way. And you can see we've got the start for a, uh, a T sign. And one last thing I, I, I should probably mention is that at the very end, you'll want to go and insert another text box. Let's see, text box. And you'll want to cover the, uh, the whole page here. Format shape. Fill, solid fill. Let's make it light blue. And now I have to push this screen to the back so it's not on top of all my other graphics. So I'm going to send it to the back. Okay. So here's my graphics on top of the screen. Um, again, I need to make these uh, not visible. So the fill is going to be no fill. I know it. Okay, there you go. And I do the same thing on this. And uh, anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, uh, you can see everything essentially works the same way, whether it's text or graphics or uh, squares or triangles or whatever you want to do. It's all, all the same kind of process. Uh, so play around with it. See, uh, see what you can come up with. And uh, uh, I guess if you have questions, PM me. I can, uh, I can always respond with some quick answers. So thank you very much.